For almost three years, Arby's had a regular customer who'd been visiting every day, sparking the curiosity of the manager who had observed him for as long as she had worked there. The man always came alone, ordered the same thing every time, and never changed his routine. Eventually, the manager approached him to learn more about his life, and once and for all, they found out his story. Doug Parker visited the same Arby's location for lunch every day and always sat at the same seat. The manager, Christina, was familiar with his order and routine, but she remained curious about the rest of his life. Despite being friendly with many regulars, she felt drawn to the 97-year-old veteran and wanted to know more about his story. Mr. Doug, as the staff at Arby's fondly called him, was one of the restaurant's biggest fans. He ate the same meal every day and the staff always greeted him warmly, with someone rushing to hold the door for him as he entered with his walker. Even though Christina had formed a friendly relationship with him, she still didn't know much about his background or personal life, but that would soon change. As the days went by, Christina and the rest of the staff grew more and more curious about what brought Mr. Doug to the restaurant every day, until one day she finally decided to ask him about his life politely. Unfortunately, the elderly man wouldn't offer up any answers. He continued to eat his sandwich as she questioned him, and with the tip of his hat, he slowly walked out the door when he was done eating as he always did, and the mystery remained. There are a lot of people that don't exactly like the food that Arby's has to offer, so when they finally noticed that Mr. Doug went to the store every day without fail and ordered the exact same items, Christina and the staff were desperate to find out why. It would take several more weeks before he opened up to them, but when he finally did, they were surprised by what he had to say. The Arby's staff were so curious that they started formulating their own theories as to why Mr. Doug never deviated from his usual order and routine. They knew he lived in a retirement home and had no family, but they couldn't understand. Why does he order the same food every day? Doug's daily meal at Arby's consisted of a beef slider with Swiss cheese and a Coca-Cola without ice, which piqued the staff's curiosity even more. What's so special about this meal? Christina once again mustered the courage to ask, Hey Mr. Doug, we just want to know what keeps you coming back to this Arby's location. But his answer was not at all what they expected. Mr. Doug's answer was plain but sad. This is the only place I can get a sandwich that doesn't hurt my stomach. Christina was floored to hear that Mr. Doug had been dealing with health issues that limited his food choices. She felt extremely sad for him and was determined to do something to help, and she wasn't the only one. At the Chandler Arby's, they treat their regulars like family, especially Doug who was their favorite, and the feeling was mutual. Another employee, Travis Coy, said, He's expressed to us multiple times that we're like his family, and we feel that ourselves, so we try to make him feel welcome in any way possible. Christina made it her personal task to inform new employees of Doug's special dietary needs so that he doesn't receive anything that would upset his stomach. However, despite her efforts to ensure that Mr. Doug's order was exactly the same, the staff had other plans, and it was only a matter of time before something would slip through. Doug chose to eat at Arby's due to his sensitive stomach and the staff knew this well, so they made sure that his sandwich was consistent every day to prevent him from getting sick. He was a war hero, more than a valued customer after all. However, one day something unexpected was added to Doug's sandwich that shouldn't have been there, and when another customer caught it on camera, the situation quickly escalated. Ethel Fishman, another regular customer who knew Mr. Doug, became suspicious of one of the waiters when she saw him looking around furtively while serving the man, so she continued to observe closely. And sure enough, she saw the waiter slip something into Mr. Doug's usual order, which left her completely dumbfounded. Ethel, who watched intently as the suspicious waiter prepped Mr. Doug's sandwich, could only guess what he'd done. As his eyes darted around quickly while trying to see if anyone was watching, he had no idea Ethel counted his every move. She took this opportunity and quietly pulled out her phone to capture everything on camera if she only knew how much that photo would soon change their lives. Ethel turned off her camera flash and quickly took several photos of the employee slipping something in Mr. Doug's food bag. Although the view was partially blocked, she knew she captured enough to make both the employee and Arby's go viral on social media. It was hard to tell what the employee really had in hand, but Ethel didn't have to wait long to find out, and soon everyone would also know what the server had done. The elderly man watched his waiter intently as he served him his meal. As he waited, Mr. Doug wondered why his order was taking longer than usual to prepare. Although she couldn't see his face, Ethel observed the waiter crack a smile as Mr. Doug opened the bag and checked his order. As Mr. Doug sat down to eat his roast beef sandwich, the waiter hovered around his table and watched as he ate. Mr. Doug found this extremely unusual and got really confused. Thinking it had something to do with the waiter's strange behavior, he looked inside his food bag again, and sure enough, he found a piece of red card rattling at the bottom. As Mr. Doug took a closer look at the strange card he found at the bottom of his food bag, Ethel heard him say something that made tears well behind her eyes. She picked the clearest photo on her phone and quickly posted it on Facebook. Not long after and even before she finished eating, her phone started buzzing uncontrollably. Ethel checked her phone again and saw that her recent post had now gone viral and had been shared by dozens of people online. Whether they liked it or not, this previously unknown Arby's location in Chandler, Arizona was now famous. But what had the employees done? Soon after and one by one, people started to flock to the restaurant hoping to catch a glimpse of the old man, and it didn't take long for Mr. Doug to notice the many pairs of eyes on him recording his reaction. 
He initially thought it was some kind of joke that the employees were pulling, but then it dawned on him this was real. As it turned out, Christina and the staff were all in on it. They never expected someone would be able to take a photo and post it online, but they definitely planned to put that red card inside Mr. Doug's bag. As the kind man read the card, he couldn't help but exclaim, Thank you. I never know if I'll be here the next day, but thank you so much for this. The card had inside a thank you for his patronage, and he was offered the meal that he usually took for free for the rest of his life.